Hello everyone. So this is a video update, or more of like a uh, production vlog for Nilo. Uh, just kind of showing um, what's going on with the project and things like that. So today we're going to be showing off a um, just some work I've been doing on the block out for the temple level, which is a very, um, which is probably the most like vertical level in the entire game. There's like nine layers of uh, vertically stacked um, le levels essentially um, on top of each other and there's like different ways to uh, they connect with each other it's almost like a big 3D labyrinth so um, though I have a I have all these levels organized in layers so I don't get completely lost in the editor because it is a really complex um, piece of level design but it is really fun to navigate through. Um, it's definitely in hugely inspired by like the um, the original Quake games, um, the way where, where there's just a ton of verticality um, in all the levels and things like that. And I really wanted to make use of the um, 3D movement system in Nilo um, with the wall running and all that stuff. So what I'm currently doing right now is uh, I'm doing these, uh, adding the fusion, uh, the fusion nodes to the wave generators. This is how I actually set them up to where whenever you defeat a wave and it unlocks a node. So what I'm doing is I'm actually attaching a camera or uh, a camera component, which is actually part of the uh, the wave generator. I move it and I uh, locate it to the, um, the the location of the orb. And then uh, when I'm done, I uh, I actually uh, use like the eyedropper tool to be able to select that orb to, to tell uh, the wave generator to unlock this orb um, when you defeat the wave. So again, I'm still adding these orbs. There's a lot of wave generators in this level. There's a lot of, a lot of waves, a lot of fighting bad guys in this level. Um, yeah. And here I'm actually uh, going to the orb gates, and I'm setting um, <clears throat> I'm setting the actual triggers for them. And uh, you can't really see on the screen, but I'm configuring the number of. Uh, uh, fusion keys that you need to unlock that door. I believe here I missed a few areas where um, I didn't put. Oh no, no, I know what I'm doing here. I'm actually uh, setting. Well, yeah, I did miss a few uh, wave generators, but I'm also setting the uh, the layers that each of those orbs are going on to because again I want to keep these levels organized um, because if you just tried editing this level like you would to a typical Unreal Editor level you'd get so lost um, so using <clears throat> using layers uh, to where you can hide and unhide uh, various portions of the white box um, so you're not completely lost is really helpful But yeah, I'm just taking all these uh, all these orbs that I added, and I should have uh, just had the uh, the layers highlighted as I created the new orbs, so they would be automatically created for that layer. But I just kind of forgot, so. Um, one thing I want to mention is the temple level has been made before in the past, but since we like redid all the level designs and kind of like our level design philosophy for the game. Uh, the uh, the temple was definitely one of the levels that needed to be redone because pretty much all the levels needed to be redone uh, for the to work with this new workflow for this new um, style of level design for Nilo.
Uh, you can kind of see that this is kind of what the level's starting to look like when all the uh, layers are unhidden. Um, if I back out, yeah, it, it gets pretty crazy. And then I can go back and down a few uh, levels to go to the next gate. And then here I'm just uh, blueprint scripting um, the triggers to make sure that they actually that they're actually connected to the gate. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching.